Good morning, may buntag, magandang umaga. Uh, this, is Mar this is Mario again. We're going to do a video on uh, guess what my favorite subject is? Bitcoin. Anyway, um, back again. I'm Filipino and we're going to do uh, my concern about the Philippines anyway. I hope to help the Philippines. Um, on Bitcoin, how can Bitcoin help the Philippines? Uh, you know, one of the biggest problems in the Philippines is uh, corruption. And, you know, the government's job basically is to provide, uh, you know, services for the Filipino people to help the Filipinos get ahead. So doing the services and goods basically for the Filipinos, they have to spend money, right? So... And uh, if you have to spend money, you have to make money. So it's like a business, basically. So if you're a business, you have to uh, provide either goods or services to your customers. At the same time, how you make money is making profits. So you, ha you need money to be able to do that. And it's the same way in businesses, I mean, government. So there has to be a balance between uh, spending and also income. So, um, and uh, government basically is, uh, if there's excessive spending, government spending, then they're going to be in deficit, right? That they won't have enough uh, money to go around to uh, provide for the people, you know, to help the people basically. And um, if you don't have enough income, so it's like supply and demand again <laughs> so if your income is not there you don't have enough money to spend and the deficit is going to make it even bigger so the best government is somebody who can uh, make sure you know if you want your business to grow you have to cut back in your expenses and make your income grow higher and then you'll have positive you'll have money in the bank if it goes around the other way, if your expenses goes high and your income goes down, then you're going to go bankrupt if you have your own business. So how does the government make money? Basically, the big one is taxes, right? So if you cut back on the taxes and there's not enough revenue to provide for those, bis for those services, then you're going to go down. So how does that uh, affect us? Well, in the Philippines, there's this thing called corruption. Um, you have, you know, the government basically uh, have to, they spend a lot of money and that's the way the corrupt uh, politicians make money is uh, they have high budgets that they don't really need so uh they can uh you know they have a percentage on that budget basically so if you have five million budget you know i don't know what the percentage is but i keep hearing it's running around 10 percent, 15 percent so 10 percent of that five million it goes to the pockets of politicians basically uh so that's an incentive for the government to spend money And uh, if you cut back on the corruption, then uh, you'll be checking yourself, basically. Uh, do we have enough revenue to provide for that business, for that services that we're talking about? And that's the way it should always be. So when you do your budget, do we have enough money to do that budget and come out ahead? And basically, if we have a deficit and how we cover, so if if it was a business, they would just go bankrupt and close the business. But um, governments can't do that because there's services that uh, people need. You know, I mean, uh, you know, the, the, the people needs, need government to provide for their basic in case, you know, worse comes to worse. 
you know, so you won't starve or you need medical help or you need education for your kids or uh, or uh, if you don't have a car, there's going to be, a, you know, ways to go, libraries, schools and so many services that the government provide, post office. So what they do basically is they print more money to cover the deficit. So if they don't have enough um, money that's coming in and their their expenses are high, they just print more money. And guess what happens when you print money? We've been talking about this so many times. When you print more money, inflation comes in, the, the value of your peso in the Philippines goes down and that's basically what's and that's worldwide not only the philippines but in the philippines i kept saying it used to be one dollar equivalent to one peso now it's like i don't know 55 peso for a dollar now and pretty soon uh it's gonna keep getting higher because government spending which is fueled by corruption in the philippines basically um you know um I hate to say this, but the Philippines is one of the corrupt countries in the world, and uh, we have to get rid of that corruption. And uh, the way they make money is basically uh, skimming from the top of whatever budget they have. Uh, the military has a budget, and whoever handles that military budget, you know, gets some money out of it. Congressmen, senators, mayors, almost everybody. Um, that's why politicians get rich. Uh, you wonder why, you know, I mean, uh, their income is not really that high, but their, you know, their, their lifestyle is way up there. And you don't know, you know, it's, it doesn't jive with the money they, the salary they make and the, the lifestyle they have. So again, you have to balance the budget and doing that is basically uh, checking your expense and making your revenue higher. You know, so that's the problem in the U.S. too. I'm in the U.S. Um, when they cut taxes and they don't have any revenue coming in and, you know, the deficit just keeps getting higher. Or if they spend money and you don't have money to spend, the deficit gets higher so you have to balance it out so hopefully uh our politician or somebody like who can balance budget basically and make sure your deficit goes lower um what else can i say and we have to get rid of corruption that's what i can keep saying we have to get rid of corruption so our expenses will be lower and the money we're spending is we don't need you know we don't have to uh, put in new taxes just so the then it goes to the politician basically so in the philippines if we get rid of corruption that's already half of the battle to balance our budget and once you balance your budget i don't think the Philippines has ever had a balanced budget in its history. You know, I mean, uh, it's a young republic. Um, I better check my, uh, you know, my uh, source. But I don't believe the ever since the young republic since 1945 has ever had a balanced budget. We've always had a deficit. And that's why the peso keeps going down in value. And that's why Bitcoin is really important. Because the Bitcoin, the government has no say. It's decentralized. Uh, it cannot be corrupted. Uh, it's very uh, transparent. People can see where the money is going. So, you know, it, that's the best way to uh, fight corruption, basically, is through Bitcoin. So hopefully um, we can uh, make Bitcoin legal tender in the Philippines. And hopefully it can become some medium exchange over there. 
So if they accept Bitcoin's legal tender, besides the Filipino pesos, then uh, that would solve a lot of our problem. Now, I mean, it's not 100% sure that they can do that, but it will lessen uh, the corruption. Uh, thank you very much. That's our lesson for today. Thank you.